Welcome to today's session. We have uh, for you today, we prepared for you a revision for uh, based on unit one, two, and unit three. Actually, we have a very, very meaty session for them today. You are going to have a great deal of competition between our dear students. I hope they turn up soon because we have questions, dear students, from units one, two, and three. As you can see, dear students, here comes the first question. The police have arrested. Don't forget, dear students, the police, the word police is plural. So usually the police have, we don't say the police has, we say the police are, we don't say the police is. So the police have arrested the man as he has stolen the money, so he was sent to the, to be judged. What do you think he's going to be sent to? To be judged. Remember, is he going to be sent to the jail, the court, prison, or ground? Remember, dear students, the uh, the person, the arrested person, is going to be judged. Okay, so he doesn't have a sentence yet. Yeah, very good. Because actually, most students would choose the jail, but he is still going to be judged. Okay, moving to question number two, and it's number three because we want you to tell us your names. I already sent you the link to the form in the chat box, so uh, be with us and answer the questions. Scientists hope to develop a space that uses. I'm sorry, this is a new program that I'm using. Okay, what is this word? So scientists hope to develop that uh, uses solar energy to fly. So an aircraft, uh, a ship, or a fly, or a car. So they need to develop what to use solar uh, energy to fly. What do you think? Okay, scientists hope to, to develop an aircraft that use uh, solar energy to fly. Okay, uh, if you want to see speed things, you should visit the Grand Museum in Cairo. So if you want to see what? Available, modern, valuable, or small things, you should visit the Grand Museum in Cairo. What do you think, dear students? In museums, what do we put things uh, in the museum? Are they uh, important things or valuable things, modern things or small things? What do you think? Of course, of course, uh, it's not available, okay? Because um, in museum, we put the precious things only, okay? Things that matter to our country and our culture. So I think the correct answer should be valuable, valuable things, okay? Okay, so number five. And um, did I say that I am going to the park after school? So did I tell, speak, whisper, or mention that? What do you think? What do you think, dear student? Of course, not tell, because uh, tell needs, huh, do you know needs what? Huh, it needs an object. Did I tell him or tell her that? So tell is not correct. Of course, not speak or whisper. Did I mention that I'm going to? So the correct answer should be mention. Yeah, let's let's start number six. He accused his friend. He accused his friend. You know what's to accuse? To say that someone did something. He accused his friend in, of, on, or at taking his book. What do you think? He accused his friend in taking his book, of taking his book, on taking his book, or at taking his book. What do you think, dear students? It's always better to put all the options in the sentence and see which one is the correct one. You will find your ear at, I don't think so. Think okay. again, concentrate. This is to accuse the of. Now let's continue number seven together. Oh, no piracy. Look at this picture. No piracy. Uh, piracy or theft or robbery or murder is the crime of illegally copying and selling books. Remember, dear students, each crime has a name. For example, if you attack a ship, it has a name. If you attack a plane, it has a name. If you attack a person, it has a name. So, what do you think this one is the crime of illegally? Illegally means not lawful to copy and sell books. What kind of crime? 
piracy, theft, robbery, or murder. He couldn't attend his daughter's wedding, space his illness. So is it because his illness or his illness due to his illness or despite his illness? What do you think the suitable word for the sentence? What do you think the correct answer is? Due to. Now let's move to number nine. My job consists, includes, has, or contains making copies, answering phone, and other duty. What do you think? My job consists, I think consists, needs something, includes, has, or contains. What do you think? So let's make it easier for you. Consists, I think, needs of. You, you should say consists of. So this is not the correct answer. We have includes, has, and contains. Includes is the correct answer. Do you remember what is the opposite of include, dear students? To exclude. You remember when you say, I am excluded from the trip? That means I'm not going to join. Okay, so moving to number 10. She was shocked by the bad news. The synonym of shocked here is relieved, suspected, stunned, or relaxed. What do you think? Is it relief, suspect, stunned, or relaxed? Yes, what do you think the synonym? The synonym, this is a word to give you the same meaning as shocked. Yes, would you please give the correct answer, Mrs. Wafa? Nobody answers yet. Oh, sweetie. Of course, not relief. Relief means relaxed. Suspect means to tell something, okay? Relax also means to relieve. So the, the only one we have here meaning shocked is stunned. Okay, to be stunned means to be shocked of something, surprised of something. Okay, now let's go to number 11. They announced their engagement. They announced their engagement. The antonym of announced, you know, this is the antonym. This is means the opposite of announced is declared, stated, concealed or said what is the opposite declared stated concealed or said so you know what's to announce to announce means to declare to make something public so what is the opposite of that concealed sealer we use in order to hide to hide the defects under our eyes so actually to conceal means to hide Exactly. Very good. Yes, if you don't know the, the meaning of a word, okay, try to exclude the wrong ones. Of course, we have, as Ms. Summer already mentioned, declared, stated, and said, they all have the same meaning of a noun, but the only one had the antenna meaning is concealed, as Ms. Summer already told you. Uh, number 12, uh, which of the following is punctuated correctly? So now move to punctuation, dear students, and pretty important part in your um, in your curriculum. So um, number A or letter A, the teacher said, and we have a comma, you must follow school rules, comma, Hatem. Okay, and we have one inverted comma. Uh, B, the teacher said, comma, two inverted commas, uh, you must follow school rules, comma, Hatem. C, the teacher said, and two inverted comma, you must follow school rules, Hatem. And of course, D and notice, OK, which one had the, the correct punky division? OK, so the correct answer, um, uh, it's the letter P, it's letter B, because after after said, OK, we have to bring comma and two inverted comma for the words that um, people say. OK, so if we have a quote, uh, if we have some direct words from a person, we put it uh, between two inverted comma. Now let's move to number 13. In a book sentence, you in need to, sorry, in a hook. hook. Yeah, as you can see from the, the picture, what's a hook, you know? This yeah. is exactly a hook. In a book, uh, sorry, in a hook sentence, you need to, you need to, number A, sum up your essay by briefing, visit, uh, revising the information converted, or number B, grab the reader's attention to read the essay that means it's going to be in the beginning or number c support explain illustrate or provide evidence to the idea expressed in the topic sentence 
Or number D, analyze. Analyze two points of view by either comparing them or contrasting them or both. What do you think? It's number B. A hook, we, we use it to grab fish. That's exactly how a hook sentence works, to grab the reader's attention. Okay, moving to 14. Uh, okay, so pollution has a serious effect on our health. However, a lot of people are still ignorant of the importance of keeping the environment clean. So this shows space and ideas. This shows what? Notice that we are saying pollution, we are saying a sentence, and however, okay, a lot of sentence and another sentence. So this shows what? Addition in ideas, contrast in ideas, possibility or reason in ideas. What do you think, dear students? Says B. Now let's continue with number 15. Please leave your bags at the entrance. Please leave your bag at the entrance. However, therefore, furthermore, for instance, mobile phones must be turned off during the meeting. So I think they are giving you extra instructions. So please leave your bags at the entrance. Mobile phones must be turned off during the meeting. However, therefore, furthermore, or for instance, it is number C. Now let's go to number 16, which sentence is a fragment. I will go to the party regardless of the rain. I will go to the party while the rain. I will go to the party in spite of the rain. I will go to the party despite the rain. What do you think? Which one is a fragment? Which one is a fragment? Number 16. A, B, C, or D? C, number B. I will go to the party while the rain. Uh, Miss Wafa, would you please go to question number 15? Uh, number 15, Miss Amor? Yeah, number 15. Okay. Uh, please leave your bags at the entrance. M mobile phones must be turned off during the meeting. This is extra information. So you cannot use, however, you are not giving the contrast here. You cannot use therefore because there is no result. Okay. And you don't have to, you, 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 you cannot use for instance because for instance means for example. So the correct answer here is furthermore. So you leave your bag at the entrance, furthermore, and the mobile phones must be turned off. Okay, so you are giving here extra instructions. Okay, so number 17. Uh, report rumors about celebrities. What kind of uh, newspaper that report rumors? You know, rumors. Uh, false, false information or um, wrong information about celebrities. So narrow sheets, broad sheets, tabloids, or A and B. Uh, we talk two. We take two types of that. We take the tabloids and we took the broad sheets. What do you think? Is it a broad sheet, tabloid, narrow sheets, or A and B? Sort of magazine that gives rumors, rumors, bad information or false information about celebrities. Number C, tabloid. So let's go to number 18. Both tabloids and broadsheets are examples of what, dear students? Newspaper, fiction texts, work of art, forms of literature. What do you think? A, newspaper. Okay, so number 19, broadsheets are written using broadsheets, not tabloids. Uh, are using what? Abbreviations, okay, acronyms, standard English, all colloquial language. What do you think, dear students? You know, broadsheets, those are the official, the official newspapers that contain the president, the, the government, and so on. So what do you think, the, the kind of writing in it? Is it abbreviations, acronyms, standard English, or colloquial language? Before I give you the other meaning. Here, standard English. Numbers. The things that we use, or the words that we use, okay, without abbreviation, without colloquial, without common words, okay? So this is an official word that we use in broadsheets. Perfect. So number 20. 
there was a long space in front of the cinema. You know, cinema, if we have a movie, so there is a long what? Lane, Q, row, or row. What do you think? It says number B. Or a, a very long line of people standing in front of something to collect bread, to get um, a ticket, and so on. Okay? Very good. Uh, actually, Mrs. Wafa has a question. She says yes. number 19. What is the meaning of the other options? Number 19. She knows standard English. She doesn't understand the meaning of abbreviations. Uh, okay, um, uh, dear student, abbreviations mean to have um, uh, letters of a word, okay? Just abbreviate the word, to take just words from it. Uh, for instance, you know that United States of, An of America, okay? So we take the first letter of each word, uh, USA, USA. Uh, a or uh, E, uh, Arabic Republic of Egypt. So abbreviations means to take just uh, a few words or a few letters of a word to not have it uh, as long as much. Acronyms means the same meaning, abbreviation, ikhtisar, and acronym means that, exactly, okay? Standard English, as I told you, this is the official writing of English, the official way of writing English. And colloquial means common, عامي. you know, common words that we say to each other. So this is colloquial and acronym and abbreviation. They are the same. It means اختصار. Hope you got the meaning of uh, the three words, inshallah, or the four words, of course. Start number 21, dear students. Nothing can, nothing can what? Compensate, involve, consist, or indicate the loss of parents. You know, when somebody loses his parents, can compensate, involve, consist, and indicate. Remember, as Mrs. Wafa told you, try to exclude the wrong answers. For example, consist is not a correct answer. For example, number 21A. Okay, so moving to 22, the treasures of the ancient Egyptians are worthless, Oh, no, of course. <laughs> Aimless, priceless, or helpless. I guess it's pretty easy for you. What do you think the ancient, the treasures of ancient Egyptians? Priceless. Now yes. let's continue to 23. The prices of goods vary. You know what's to vary? They are not the same. They change according to supply and defend, mend, demand, or mind. What do you think? The prices of goods vary according to supply and defend, mend, demand, or mind. What do you think? Demand. Supply and demand. Okay, number 24. He is dishonest. He has says my personal secrets online. Oh, this is pretty, pretty. This is a very bad thing. So he is dishonest. He has cared, shared, cheered or chanted what do you think dear students you are all the time on social media so this is easy for you shared now let's go to number 25 i have been i would see i saw or i was seeing him a few days ago uh, when you see a few days ago this is past symbol so you have to exclude what you have to exclude have been and would we'll see what do you think i think it's easy now it's so we have a question here so space you use to play with doll did or have where what do you think number a did now let's move to number 27 at six o'clock yesterday evening at six o'clock yesterday evening i watch tv Watching TV, was watching TV, or am watching TV? What do you think? This is number 27. At 6 o'clock yesterday evening, specific time in the past, I see, was watching. Very good. Okay, so 28. Someone phoned me while I stayed dinner. While I was cooked dinner, was cooking dinner, cooked dinner, or I'm cooking dinner. After a while, what do we have? Past simple and was cooking. 
Now let's continue. Number 29. I wish you, remember which, huh? I wish you, well, buy this car. It's a good bargain. You know when something is a bargain, that means the quality is good and the price is good. It's not very expensive. So I wish you will buy this car or buy this car to buy this car or bought this car. It's a bargain. We are talking in the present, but wish has a role. Remember? Remember? So give me the correct answer for 29, please. D, both. I wish you both. When we want to talk about the present using wish, we use the past sense. And if you want to talk about the past, you use the past perfect. Want to talk about the future, you use the would or could. Okay, so I'm moving to 30. When I lived in London, I stayed in the park every day. So I walked, was walking, had walked or walk in the park every day. What do you think? A, walked. Can you please explain why we used walked here, Mrs. Wafa, not was walking? It's a past habit. You know, if we have a past habit, how do we express it? We use the past tense, the past sample, okay? Not, not um, using the uh, past continuous. So he, um, I space in the park every day. So I uh, walked in the park every day, not was walking. It's a past habit. Okay. Because they are confused be between walked and was walking. So let's go to number 31. Before feeling the pain of the injection, in feeling the pain, on feeling the pain, or at feeling the pain of the injection, I burst into tears, she cried. Of course, you are not going to cry before feeling the pain. So in feeling the pain, on feeling the pain or at feeling the pain? What do you think? In, on, or at? On! Moving to 32, I have read the book, space, I haven't seen the film yet. So I have read the book, thought, but, so, or F. Which one is the correct one? I have read the book, I haven't seen the film yet. It's but, very good. Now let's move to number 33. We enjoyed our holiday. We enjoyed our holiday. Although the rain, but the rain, in spite the rain or despite the rain. This one is very tricky. We enjoyed our holiday, although the rain, but the rain, in spite the rain or despite the rain. What do you think? Despite, despite. Why didn't we choose in spite? Because in spite needs off. We have exactly. to say in it's spite of it's complete expression. Yes, yes. So I'm very happy you were not tricked. Have you space on a plane? So have you ever been on a, on a plane? Never been on a plane, yet been on a plane, or even been on a plane? Pretty easy question. It's really easy. Ever been? Have you ever been on a plane? Mayan also ever been. Now let's move to number 35. We have lived here since more than 20 years, for more than 20 years, yet more than 20 years, or just more than 20 years. What do you think? We have lived here more than 20 years, since, for, yet, or just. Don't get tricked. Remember? The difference between sense and for, yet and just. Yet comes at the end of a negative sentence. So yet is excluded. For, very good. I'm very proud of you. We are going to end with 36, I guess. Um, no? I haven't seen him. Uh, space his, his travel. So his travel here takes what? For, just, sense, yet. What do you think? We have a point of uh, time here. Not a period of time. His travel. Sense. So please, please answer the questions. Uh, I already um, dropped the link for you in the chat box. And inshallah, next week we will bring you wonderful certificates just made for you, dear students. See you inshallah next week with Miss Summer and Mr. Amani and me. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Have a nice week and